20. Propellant tanks, pressure flight. 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. had successful liftoff of the Falcon 9, uh, as you saw. Uh, it's pitching downrange at the moment uh, to continue its ascent into orbit. Uh, going supersonic right about now. And it'll be uh, going through max Q shortly. Vehicle is supersonic. So we're decreasing the engine thrust to minimize the pressures of max Q, which is the point at which the rocket is pushing hardest against the atmosphere. Vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. And now that we're through that milestone, we'll be increasing the thrust of the engines uh, in order to uh, get to orbit. Uh, but while the atmosphere is still relatively thick, uh, we can prevent it from exerting too much pressure on the fairing by, by throttling the engines a little bit. So, uh, chilling the Merlin vacuum engine. And vacuum engine chill has begun. And that call out means that we're bringing the engines down to the correct temperatures in order to prevent the liquid oxygen from uh, turning into a gas in the second stage as well. Uh, coming up shortly, we have a, a few events in quick succession. Uh, the first stage main engines will cut off, the two stages will separate, and the second stage will begin its first burn. recognition. And there you saw it. The first stage main engines cut off, the two stages separated, and the second stage began its uh, burn. Um, you can actually see, see the first stage uh, falling away behind the, the second stage for some of these shots. Uh, that's gorgeous. Uh, the first stage uh, will be performing a one-engine boost back burn and continuing downrange for a simulated landing. And you just saw the second stage trajectory nominal. I uh, just saw the two halves of the fairing fall away. Good, good from the boy. Uh, we will be attempting a recovery of one of the halves of the fairing today on our. Uh, fairing recovery ship, Mr. Steven, as part of an experimental program to reuse those parts of the vehicle. <laughs> 